Lakers forward Pau Gasol is the subject of trade rumors again. This time, the Chicago Bulls are exploring the possibilities to acquire the all-star forward. Gasol and the Lakers in Memphis tonight taking on the Grizzlies. First quarter action, the Lakers guard Steve Blake drives baseline and finds Matt Barnes for the throwdown. To the second quarter now, and Kobe Bryant backing his man down. Bynum and the layup. Bynum with the monster game, 15 of 18, 37 points, 16 boards. Less than 15 seconds till halftime. Bryant to the rack, the hops, and the jam. The Lakers trail by one at the break. Late fourth quarter, Lakers down by three until Bryant fires and hits from downtown. Kobe scored 22 of his 34 points after halftime. We're headed to overtime. First overtime, Lakers down by two, but Gasol to Bynum ties things at 103. And we'll play another extra frame. And in the second overtime, the pick and roll gets Bynum with the flush. Kobe and Bynum combined for 71 points. Gasol added 14 points and eight boards. And the Lakers leave Memphis with the 116, 111 double overtime win. Now the Cal Bears enter March Madness on the cusp of being in a true NCAA tournament as they take on South Florida Wednesday night in one of the play-in games. As I told our team yesterday on the practice floor, there's 280 Division I basketball teams not playing in the NCAA tournament. So uh, we've got to relish the thing a little bit. We just need to play with uh, a better amount of confidence uh, and just get back to doing things that we know we can do well. And the Cal State men's team practiced this week in preparation for their appearance in the CollegeInsider.com postseason tournament. The team improved from 10 wins a year ago to 16 victories this season, improvement which was steadily noticed. Coach brought in some talent, and I think the talent molded. The, the guys really like each other, and they, they seem to play really hard. Uh, and we have had some success, uh, even though we had an imbalanced schedule. We only had 13 home games, 17 on the road. And the road runners get busy tomorrow night in a 7 o'clock tip-off against Utah State. And a beautiful day as the road runners softball hosted UConn. Second inning action, and the Huskies are already up 2 nothing and looking for more. This single to left goes to the road runners, Carissa Viega. She comes up throwing, and Jennifer Ward is out at the plate. And we're in the same score in the fourth when UConn's Amy Vaughn takes this Taylor De Silva offering deep to left center, and it's not playable. The two-run shot made it 4 nothing Huskies, and it was a rough day overall for the Roadrunners as they went down to UConn in Game 1, 9 to nothing. And in Game 2 of the twin bill, the Roadrunners didn't fare any better as UConn completed the sweep with the 15 to nothing victory. The Bakersfield College softball team with a 10-game winning streak on the line hosted 17-0 Canyons. Fourth inning, bases loaded for the Renegades, and they trailed 3-1 when Brittany Roberts gets hit with the pitch. Kayla Williams comes home and BC is down three to two. The next batter is Megan McCormick and she'll single sharply to center. Jasmine Irvin scores easily and we're all even at three. Now after a sack fly put BC up four three, Caitlin Turner with the single to, to center and the sacks are full. Roberts comes in easily and McCormick follows directions as well. The Renegades are now up six three. And Kara Frankhauser smokes this one fair down the third baseline. Turner chases Brittany Messer home, and the Renegades finish with a seven-run fourth on their way to an 11th consecutive victory, 11-3 in five innings over Canyons. But in the second game, Canyons gave BC a taste of their own medicine in halting the Renegades' consecutive game win streak at 11. And the Renegades' baseball team left a potential tying run in scoring position in the ninth inning in a frustrating one-run loss to Mission. Busy night in sports. It is. And Paul Gasol, once again, subject of trade rumors. You know, he was once traded to New Orleans in mm -hmm. a three-way trade prior to the season starting, and it just still seems to be very unsettling for him, and you still are expected to play at a high level.